Hi everyone, I hope you're well. This is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into Bitcoin. Bring good Coins Key Crew. So the CBBI is currently still at 25. I'm looking for it to get into probably around the low 20s, late team mark before I think you know the bottom of this pot potential correction is in for Bitcoin. Now there will be some really, really, really strong bearish signals in the charts if we start to see certain things. And I'm going to show you all these today. Uh, there's a couple of other charts we need to keep an eye on as well for the health of Bitcoin. Let's dive into the S&P 500 right now. Okay. So taking a look at the S&P 500, then you can clearly see since the Corona dump way back there in 2020 what we did here for the S&P 500 is broke out like this we've had a swing low just here to this level of resistance basically we've got this resistance coiled up broken out fell back to support and looking to go again now the bullish scenario is the fact that we take out that yellow line for the S&P 500 the bearish scenario is we lose this white line so again I can't guarantee what this is going to do but it will give a bit of a looking glass as to the health of the markets the stock markets and obviously risk on assets and things like that which also include Bitcoin obviously so right now this thing in my opinion there's two counts here there's one that's bullish and one that's bearish but the most important thing I think we need to see is for the S&P 500 to get a close a weekly close above 4197 and take out that high confirms that this is bullish basically and not simply a retracement coming back up so I'm going to show you what I'm looking at right now the possibility is that this has just been some kind of correction coming back down to this high where you broke out coiled up fell back to the high swing high swing low find support you go basically so you know i think a bearish scenario is if losing this white trend line coming down and sweeping that low obviously it's just a continuation of this impulsive and corrective moves to the downside and this leg here would be bearish and at that point i would imagine the dsy breaks out as well okay so we're going to keep an eye on this going forward so you know i'm throwing a couple of other charts in today just to sort of give us a more broader view of what's going on with the markets right now so there's a couple of counts here in my opinion again i'm no elliott wave specialist but i think possibly the bullish count is this okay what we've got is an ABCDE correction a five wave correction like this okay that was some kind of five wave correction that's come back down to support this swing high and right now you're breaking out and the bullish count continues in the sense that what we've got this was a one just a regular ABC2 the bottom just there and right now you're in a third wave which is going to take out this resistance confirming that this is impulsive and equally this high just there get some kind of big parabolic third wave come back four five and that's it that you've got a massive move here for the S&P 500 and this leg here you know off this bottom is going to be really really impulsive just like we're expecting it for bitcoin as well and we're looking at a major major move here but with that we need to see the dxy breaking down as it currently is okay in a downtrend below its weekly thick yellow line and at the moment you can clearly see the s p 500 is above its thick yellow line for support of a bull market where the dsy i've shown you is below that thick yellow line so really is simple let's not overcomplicate it okay the minute we see the s p 500 breaking down losing the yellow line and the dsy getting back above it that's bearish okay and think about your position in crypto at that point especially bitcoin okay so equally what we've got here is a bearish count as well i think that what we might have here is some kind of a regular abc this is a wave two abc like that that bottom right now and we're in a third wave well obviously like i've always said to you the third wave is the most powerfulest wave which usually breaks key resistance and this resistance here confirms to me that this is really really bullish okay and you are in a third wave just there so that's the bullish count okay let's take a look at the bearish count for the s p 500 as well right now okay so the trouble with Elliott Wave is really subjective, you know, and this is why I do primarily focus, if you've been a follower of the channel for a very long time, it is all about consistent closes above that thick yellow line and bull crosses and death crosses, basically. So you can see, clearly see we've got a little death cross down there, resistance, resistance, and right now we look like we're trying to turn a corner and come back upstairs, don't we? It's until we start to fall below that, you know, this is some kind of fake out and then we drop in again, basically. So there always exists bullish and bearish counts. So for me, it is primarily about support and resistance. Right now we've got a lovely little sustained you know momentum above the 20 week EMA this thick yellow line and this is something we want to see if we're expecting some kind of big move here because this is what happens okay if we can maintain the support above the yellow line you're bullish 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 look at that and this is what we're looking for you know so right now getting back above this and creating a bullish cross at 10 and 20 and 55 EMA just there which is on the cusp of it right now as the DSY is on the cusp of its death cross is bullish okay so the, the obviously the inverse of that is the fact that this is impulsive corrective impulsive so if we start to see it break down that's bearish really simple but at a minute we're sort of on the cusp of breaking out here so anyway aside from that there always exists bullish and bearish scenarios uh with elliott wave so right now we could be still in a massive downtrend basically and we've got a one a two a three a four and a five and what we've got is an abc correction coming back up a b c and right now we're putting an impulsive wave to the downside just there a one on this trend line you know again equally breaking this trend line is actually quite a bullish thing because you're breaking out confirming the breakout support looking to go so right now we could be again okay, some kind of wave two 
with a way free. And this is why I said to you, you know, what we need to see is to take out that resistance just there to confirm that that's not a wave two and it is in fact some kind of wave three. And, uh, you know, that's the bullish scenario. That's why I always show you key resistance to invalidate bearish and bullish scenarios. So right now taking out that, you know, negates that this is a one two three do you understand so again we just need to see the resistance broken we need to see you know the s p hold all this support coming up and creeping up into this resistance break it as bullish losing it breaking down below would begin to confirm that this you know it's an impulsive wave corrective wave and right now you've got a one two looking at big three which sweeps that low you know you've got a massive third wave that's loading right now some kind of massive massive catastrophic crash for some reason and then comes back up and then continues to drop here for the S&P 500 you know so it's all about support and resistance losing the EMAs is bearish breaking that is bullish really simple but like I said to you there's always a bearish and bullish count for either scenario you know and this is the way this is our subjective Elliott wave is sometimes the rules do stand out and the waves do stand out quite a lot but you can always find the bull and bear count let's dive into the Bitcoin chart right now so taking a quick look at the DSY before we dive into the Bitcoin chart right now we have got this sort of correction back into these EMAs resistance confirmed and right now we're going through another correction potentially back into the resistance of the EMAs again to confirm as resistance before another big drop here uh, for the DSY okay so we see the big drop on the DSY like I said to you you're going to see a massive move here for the S&P 500 and risk on assets and obviously Bitcoin as well so until we start to see the DSY get back above the EMAs and create some kind of reversal pattern down here some kind of double bottom and break out you know this is looking for a retracement like it did there for continuation and Bitcoin at the moment is going through a retracement back to its fit line for support for the continuation once once we see this resistance broken, the EMA is taken out support and held above for multiple weeks, then you know we have to respect what the charts are telling us. And at the moment, the charts are telling us that this is breaking down and Bitcoin is finding support to go back up, basically. So at the minute, I'm looking at DSY. There is something that's occurring on, I think it's the uh, four hourly time frame right now. It's quite a bullish little pattern, to be honest with you. A lot of people would say this is some kind of descending triangle, possibly. So if this is a descending triangle, this will break down. You know, at that point, you, you could say, OK, well, we've had some kind of correction there and we're coming back downstairs. But there is another little pattern just there that's possibly emerging, which could lead from Monday when this thing starts to trade again, because don't forget, this isn't trade at the weekends. From Monday, we could see another pullback for Bitcoin. Uh, so I'm always trying to find confluence in this chart for any kind of moves in Bitcoin. This could be some kind of um, bull pennant, basically, we're looking for continuation of this retracement back up into its EMAs. So look, this could be some kind of ball pen that's fine support. You've got some kind of five wave corrective pattern in here where you do usually find support on the final fifth wave, some kind of ABC, A, B, C, D, E. So right now this is bound support and come one day this is going to break out. Now if we do start to see that and this starts to take off from this support and starts to come up, then this retracement just there, this is where you're going to see Bitcoin pull back again from Monday okay so we'll keep an eye going forward so it might be an idea to short Bitcoin but we'll keep an eye on this if we do get the break of this ball pen and this continues to come up in a larger retracement then you will see Bitcoin retrace but what I'm looking for on the DSY like I said to you is a retracement into the EMAs to confirm the resistance just like we got there and just like we got this retracement here what happened to Bitcoin it came back and just right now we find support last week so right now if we do start to come up with that ball pen and you know we find a bit of support into resistance to the EMAs then Bitcoin will pull back and continue its correction for the remainder of the week next week okay, as this continues to come up into resistance really a simple you know it's just inverse correlation and sometimes looking at this can kind of give the game away as to where bitcoin's going to go so again i've not got a crystal ball if this does begin to break down of a descending triangle it is a bearish pattern then losing this neckline of support and closing below you would see Bitcoin break out at that point. So again, just keep an honest chart, you know, to, to do any trading long or short on Bitcoin. So what I'm looking for, if I drop the weekly chart back in, I'll show you uh, for Bitcoin. Let's drop the plus symbol, go to Bitcoin, new price to scale, drop it in. You can clearly see, uh, you know, it's not bullshit, it's not hope. This is something I look at for the DXY right now. You can clearly see that what we've got just there, when this retraced into the EMAs, what happened for Bitcoin? You went through a massive correction just there, okay? So right now, this is retracing into the EMAs. And what's happening right now? We're going through a correction for Bitcoin. So it really simple okay we'll keep a nice chart if, again if this really does take off here then bitcoin will really break down let's dive into the bitcoin chart right now so looking at bitcoin on the weekly time frame then uh, you know at the moment we've got a beautiful level of support we have to respect obviously and you can clearly see uh, for bitcoin we've got that support there which led to that we've got that support there which led to that we've got that support there which led to that and right now we have found support on this trend line once more okay so this has been a beautiful little trend line right now and bitcoin possibly looking to do something like that again as it's equally done the last three times it's found support on this trend line okay so again i'm not got a crystal ball but right now you know this move could absolutely catch everybody off guard but what we're looking for for this move is for bitcoin to take out the skinny 
yellow line. So if right now Bitcoin is going through some kind of ABC back down into the MAs and this level of resistance right here, because you're doing something you did very similar just there, I'm going to go through this with you. But right now, if Bitcoin is just having some kind of correction back into the support of this neckline where you've broken out of resistance, falling back to support, if you start to come up and take out that resistance, I don't think there'll be no stopping Bitcoin, okay? And I think you could put in a new all-time high this year basically and anything's possible because i remember that all the bearish sentiment just there after the corona dump as well and right now the bearish sentiment is still in the markets just there and people are still calling for you know 10k just like they're calling for 1k down here okay so right now you know you found support 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 and right now you project into the upside like you did there like you did there and like you did there off the support as well okay so not hope you're not bullshit technical asset it is what it is it's a possibility obviously and the negation of that right now is if we start to break down below these EMAs and lose this green trend line, lose a white trend line as well, is bearish. Obviously, we've got to project to the downside. So at the minute, I'm looking for the perfect setup that's rinse repeat, basically. And I've gone through this with you, that what we've got is resistance just there, which was this resistance before the dump, which was the resistance before the dump, basically. And what we did, we came up into the resistance, fell back to support, come up into the resistance, fell back to support the EMAs. And what we did, we're broken out into this high as resistance, come back to support. And what we've done, we've broken out into this level here, which is this previous support loss as resistance. And right now, we're coming back for support to break it, just like we came back for support to break that. So potentially, you know, unless we start to see something like that there, unless we start to see something like that there, you're going to get something like that. And we're going to get something like that. It really is that simple, okay? So, you know, we've sort of kind of setting up for exactly what we did before when people were ultimately bearish after the corona dump and people are ultimately bearish after the FTX dump, basically, okay? So, you know, Bitcoin, it's a beast, basically. It always does completely unexpected what everyone thinks and it usually does go against the sentiment as well. So right now, what I'm going to do is copy the bars pattern just there to show you the kind of moves that Bitcoin can do when people least expect it. And I don't think anybody was expecting this kind of move for Bitcoin, to be honest with you, especially after the corona dump way back there and the world was in complete despair and depression. But right now, you can clearly see we're kind of copying at the moment. So we're coming back to the neckline support. If we hold it and break that skinny green line we could put in a massive parabolic move here towards the end of the year september we could be looking at new all-time highs of bitcoin not hopium not bullshit it's a possibility that we're gearing up for a same violent move as we did before so you know again where's the rsi so if we drop the rsi drop a horizontal line in right now and i've gone through this with you this leg here which is personally where i think we are right now on this level of resistance where were we we was just there and the rsi where, where, where did we get rejected? Just there in the RSI. So if this comes back to support, just like this came back to support, we could actually just drop a horizontal line in to say, okay, well, when, when we come down there, that could actually be a really sweet spot in this ABC correction. As this come down this ABC correction as well, that could be a sweet spot around about zero, uh, 5427. Bitcoin comes back to on the weekly, holds support, entry point see you later it's an absolute possibility until we break down here you know so again i remind you what's happened just there is possibly on the cusp of happening again just there okay and the negation of this is all the breakdown in the, the, the s p 500 and obviously bitcoin losing a weekly 20 ma right here for you know on a weekly time frame breaking below its thick yellow line which currently sits at two four five one six for bitcoin see multiple close below that this takes this off the table it really is that simple okay hope you enjoyed that update stay healthy stay strong stay tuned take care everyone bye bye